So David, you've talked about lots of the problems of the NHS, but I'd like you to tell me what your vision is for a better NHS that really delivers on the kind of values you've described. What I would like to see in the future evolution of the NHS is we go back in some ways, although going forward, to a system where people know one another and where they matter to one another. And to do that, we need often to go to a smaller scale. We need to reinvest in smaller GP family doctors where patients are registered with a named doctor, not the practice. So you are registered with a person, not a place. That makes a lot of difference. And where the GPs themselves and their staff, they don't come from locum agencies, they're not part-time mostly, uh, they're not on very limited contracts. We have people who want a lifetime of commitment to that work in that place with those people or their descendants. We go back also to investing in smaller scale, again, local hospitals, not for the things where people are going to need a lot of technology, but where old people are admitted and looked after by a general physician who they get to know, not a succession of specialists who they never see again. We, we go, again, smaller scale, to medical schools where students get to know one another. They get to know their teachers, their consultants. And in hospitals, we restore consultant-led firms where they work with juniors who they serve as a model for, where those juniors do their apprenticeship. Again, we're making it more personal and smaller scale. And with those consultant-led firms, patients know who is looking after them. And we bring back nursing schools to train nurses, where those nurses have a sense of belonging and affiliation and loyalty to their alma mater. That has been almost entirely destroyed. We can't do any of this with commercially hired part-time workers in a competitive system.